Hello, Modular Shed fans. Um, I'm not convinced about this 15 degree roof angle because I've been thinking about it and uh, I think I actually need a flexible roof angle, not a fixed 15 degree roof angle. Let me explain why. Here's my trigonometric calculation for the roof angle, which I chose to be 15 degrees. So given an 1100 uh, span between posts, there will be a post there and a post there, which comes up higher, of course. This is the uh, apex post. Uh, we need the rafter length to be 1138 and the apex post needs to be 285 millimeters taller than the end post. Now I've been thinking of course since I've started module 2 about module 3 I need an apex coming up to the apex post and then coming back down the other side there'll be a post there, a post there and the apex post there. But these posts are sitting on ground which is varying in height. They're actually sitting beneath the soil layer on a clay layer which is also varying in height probably by differing amounts. So the point is these two posts are going to be sitting on the clay and they're not necessarily going to be the same height at the top. So I think I've come to the conclusion that I need to measure the difference between the post the end post height and the apex post height and calculate an angle for each module, in fact for each half of the module. So my new thinking is let's make the apex post uh, 300 millimeters, so plus 300, 300 millimeters greater in height than the two end posts. Now because this ground is sloping upwards this end post is actually going to be higher than this end post. And then I'll calculate an angle by measuring these two, measuring the height difference with, by putting a, a spirit level across there and calculate an angle and cut my rafters to that angle and just do that in every instance. And I'm hoping it'll be about 15 degrees, but it might vary. I've chosen 300 millimeters because it's close to the 285, which I calculated the post height differential needs to be to get 15 degrees. And also 300 millimeters is about a foot. So if you're doing this in Imperial, it kind of works. Another reason I've chosen 300 millimeters is that I normally buy 2.4 meter posts. Now there are some 2.7 meter posts available from Wix. Uh, they're in Aylesbury because my local Wix doesn't stock them. So I'd have to drive home with the rear hatch of my car open, but I can do that, I've done it before and uh, they do fit in my car kind of if i leave the rear hatch open so possibly i might buy those they're going to be much more expensive than using uh, the 2.4 meter posts with a little post extension attached with nail plates but it's something i might think about so that's why i want to choose this particular number now the post extensions on these two apex posts uh, were just sort of I think cut to size. In fact, I've got a feeling the left hand one was fairly randomly cut, which is why perhaps there's a gap above the post, or the, the post is shorter than where the actual tips of the rafters go. This one, I think I did cut um, to height in order to get the 15 degrees accurately. In fact, let's measure these. So this one is to there. Oh, that's actually 320, over 320 millimeters. That's interesting. What about this one? Oh, that's 370 millimeters. These post extensions are long. Now I can see immediately that the posts in module two this is module two, I've got the floor frame hanging there, uh, are differing heights because of course they're both sitting on the clay layer. So the left hand post is the 
low post, that's the eight foot post, the 2.4 meter. The right hand post is gonna have the post extension, the right hand post there. But that at the moment is sitting lower. So do I want 300 added onto there or 300 plus the differential between these two? It's a tricky one. Yes, of course, it, it's now occurred to me that the reason this is 370, this apex post, is because it's 285, which was my trigonometric calculation, added to the difference in height between this original post and this post over here, because this post is on higher ground. That's why that post is so long. So for module two, these posts out there, do I go for this 300 differential and allow a new angle, a lower angle, to absorb the difference in clay layer height, I think I'm gonna to have to, which means that the roof is gonna change on this module at 15 degrees to a lower angle on the next module. It's gonna have a strange twist in it. I don't mind that, I quite like things like that. This onduline stuff, this corrugated roofing, which I'm standing underneath now, is so flexible that it will easily absorb that change in angle from 15 degrees here to whatever it's going to be a smaller angle out there maybe 12 degrees yeah no problem yeah so you can't be scared of trigonometry when you're building a modular shed you have to embrace the trig goodbye